Damn it, here we go. Yeah, okay, we're live, I think, now. Right? Yes, yes, we made it. Live, okay, cool. Getting used to all this streaming stuff. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, add browser source, copy paste link to stream. Yeah, okay. It's, uh... Sweet. We got some streamers in the house, huh? All right. Yo. Okay, dope. All right, so what I want to do in this live, um, we've got... We've got it all mapped out. We've got Joey going to all of the points we need them to. Um, <laughs> I think the, only, the the next step that we need to do is figure out how to put accessories on the Joey. So, um, uh, we've talked about captions for APD since his symptoms, uh, ADHD. Um, what do you mean for APD? Can I, you can do streaming, or you can do streaming uh, captions? Is that a thing? What's up, Beatrix? How's it going? Honestly, I've got so much to learn on streaming uh, that I'm like, I'm such a such a noob at it. Um, honestly, like I like I've only been streaming on he on here because of all the Joey stuff. So um, I've, I've got to do some tutorials, honestly. Um, gotcha. Yeah, I think uh, I got to work on on captions then for sure Woo. okay so yes we've got joey moving all over the place right like this is super super fun um to see joey moving all around we even uh looks like pac-man <laughs> yeah um we've got joey flipping around uh as well so the reason for these yellow dots um it's a bit it's, it's a bit confusing. Um, if you're familiar with Joey, essentially what is happening is there's, um, th this Joey will be inside of the fishbowl. You can have up to five Joeys in your fishbowl at once. So, uh, you know, and they could all be at like different angles at different areas of the fishbowl, right? And so the idea is that, um, that these fish or that these dolphins are all on a fixed grid like this. This is what the grid looks like. So, um, let me refresh. So, so the the grid is the fishbowl, right? This whole blue area is the fishbowl. So that the on top of that valley. So the way the um essentially what happens is there's there's five sets of these of these grids like on the grid. Um, it's really confusing, but the but basically that's how it works. So the center point is around the leg. So all of these yellow dots are where they can move, um, like so Joey could randomly move to this point, or they can randomly move down here. You know, um, so see, so Joey moves up there, and then watch, boom! You see that? You see that flick? So that's what's going to happen is at the end of the animation, it's going to move to that, um, that, and then it's going to be super seamless, like you won't even notice it, um, and then, um, and then yeah, uh, so then, and then once there's two dolphins next to each other. Uh, we don't want them going too close together lest they collide and it'll look awkward because it's just 2D, right? So um, so we're gonna make it so that like it's it's spatial aware with each other. So that way like now we can't have this Joey move up left, it's only gonna be down right kind of thing. So um, so that's why it looks like Pac-Man, like basically the animations won't have these yellow dots. It's just that's my guide for the for the animations that we're, what we're doing here. So like, um, so you see like, so this grid now is the center point. So it goes minus one, minus two, um, and then it goes minus one, minus two. So that's, so that's the grid is we pass it minus two, minus two, and then it'll, it'll go to the corner or we can do, you know, plus one minus two or yeah, plus one plus two, and then it'll go down there. So, um, uh, Yes, perspective will warp all at the sides. No, we're not gonna get into that. I think that's a cool idea, but essentially all we're gonna do is uh, Joey's gonna get cut off um, towards the end. And we're gonna try to avoid going up towards the corners as well. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it, it'll be a little awkward every once in a while. But um, so it's actually pretty cool. The, uh, we're gonna actually make it so that at any given point, um, zero or all of your Joey's may be moving. And 
Um, and they all may be moving uh, or flipping or, uh, you know, move, uh, like uh, just, just sitting there floating. And so each Joey is going to come with a randomized, uh, like, laziness meter, basically. <laughs> so, so they'll be able to, like, one might be like 90% of the time they don't want to move, right? So they're super lazy. But then one might be super active where 90% of the time they're moving. And so, um, so yeah, so it's pretty cool. Like, each one will have their own personality. Um, and it'll get stored to that Joey, you know? Um, so, uh, yeah. What am I animating with? Uh, I'm using this software called Rive and it is super cool. Essentially, um, so that's, that's what this is. Um, so I made all of these animations of like, you know, the minus two, minus two, or, you know, plus two, plus two, right? So then I link it all up and then that's how we do it in the code is we're just going to pass it, um, X and Y coordinates. So, so let's let's say that I want to move to this point, right? So it's minus one plus one. So let's go um, minus one plus one. All right. So then now, if I press play, it should move to this line. Let's see. Yeah, you see that? So that's how we're going to do it in the code. Is we're randomly going to pick those x and y coordinates, and um, and then uh, and then it's going to pass it uh, to a specific animation. So um, it's really cool. This rive. Uh, allows for really like customized stuff like that. And so that's what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pass it the correct accessory as well. So I'm gonna, I'm, I honestly, I don't know how to best do this. So we're all gonna learn together right now. So let's dig in, um, all right, so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna do a bow tie accessory. Uh, export. SVG. Oh gosh. Export as an SVG. The accessory bow tie. So that let's see if this works here. Like your tilt phone to the, to increase the likelihood they move in the direction of your phone is tilting. Oh, that is dope. We can actually we can actually probably do that pretty easily. That is such a cool idea, Felix. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like thinking about it a little bit. We could definitely do that. Uh, like just pick up like the accelerometer data. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, write that down actually, <laughs> so that I remember that. Um, the uh, Joey notes. Accelerometer <laughs> uh, makes the joeys go t towards the edge of the bowl. Dope, 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 dope. Um, all right. So images running with uh, with phone and pocket. Joey gets spinny stars when you check it. Ha! Ah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Totally a feature magpie. Love it. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're dropping the bow tie in. Let's see what happens. Where's the bow tie? Here's the bow tie. Nice. We got the bow tie ready. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just just drop that in there. Okay. So there's Joey with the bow on. All right. So we will put this bow tie. So here's the thing: is we're gonna be able to make it so that each each individual element of Joey can move around, right? So we can move the head. There's gonna be times where the leg moves as well, um, and so. Uh, so yeah, so we, uh, we're going to need to connect the specific accessory to the right area, uh, in order for it to, um, to actually move around correctly. So I think that just putting the bow tie in the main body is okay. Uh, because yeah, it's like connected just beneath the neck. So I think it'll be okay. Maybe we even have it like here so that when the head goes, uh, no, it actually knows even more, but. Hey Rad, every time I open Tastry, it comes up with a donate money button. It goes away, but always come back when I reopen it. 
Oh, that's super. That's super annoying. Um, so yeah, I know that there's been um, uh, like I I think that we've been like turning up the heat a little bit too much on that. Um, so sorry about that. Um, I, we are we've been actually talking about make, turning it down to where it only shows up once a week if you don't pay. Um, I think right now how it goes is it's like every every ten tasks you create. So. I think like it might be coincidence or I guess if you can go like, yeah, cause you, cause you just said once you reopen it, it doesn't show again after that point. But I, th I think it should be that it's, it should be though every 10 tasks you create and then, um, and then you reopen it again. So nice. Look at this, everybody. The bow tie is moving with the Joey. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, Ken's in the house. How's it going, Ken? Oh geez, why did that, why is this so far off like that? Um, what? Why is the bow tie here? Yeah, look at that. We got ourselves a spinning bow tie Joey or a flipping bow tie Joey. Oh, uh, looks so good. This is dope. How's your app work? It just popped in your FYP. Let's do a re we'll recap, everyone. Yay, thanks for asking. I'm gonna go ahead and pop you up on the board. All right, how does our app work? Let's talk about it. So, um, this is Save Joey. Uh, about two weeks ago, someone in our, um, someone in our Discord which you should go join, by the way. Someone on our Discord suggested that we make an ADHD budgeting app. They wrote out all this information. Um, it's super dope. And so I was about to hop on a live, and I was like, "Yo, let's let's go chat about this on the live and you know design it together." And so we we wrote out a bunch of features that we wanted for it. Um, we mapped out you know like that we wanted to like see overall cash flow. You you can be able to input expenses, see income versus expenses. Um, and somewhere down the line. Uh, we, we talked about making like, uh, basically like a bowl that empties out, like a fish bowl that empties out as you spend your weekly budget. Um, uh, then somebody said that they wanted to name their goldfish Joey. And so, uh, that was when we turned Joey from a fish to a kangaroo. And then we gave the kangaroo more, more dolphin like features, uh, which is now a dolphin So Joey, the dolphin is uh is who you're trying to keep alive uh, through your spending so that's the app's name is save joey um where um basically we'll be able to you'll be able to connect your bank account you'll be able to, it'll go scan the last few months of your expenses and your bills um and your income and then from there it'll compare the income to your bills and then give you a monthly and a weekly budget and so um, so bills are stuff like uh, that are fixed, like rent and car payments, right? But then, um, but then uh, monthly income is, or sorry, uh, but then expenses are are everything else, like uh, groceries, gas, and uh, you know just your random expenses throughout the week. Um, and so, so yeah, so you 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 get get to set your monthly budget and your weekly budget from there, and then that's what happens is is it pops in with, hey, I'm your Joey, um, let's go, and so they jump into the bowl. Uh, they say, you know, I'm a Bedolfaru. And then it basically explains that as you spend your weekly budget, the water in your bowl goes away. And so um, basically, if you overspend on your weekly budget, your um, most recently born Joey dies. Um, and so uh, this is this is Joey going to the graveyard here. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so then uh, as you go, your Joey will progress. Um, will will start from a uh, baby tadpole. And go all the way up through through teenage years, adolescence, and into fully grown adult Joey. And it's at that it's only at that point that the Joey starts expressing themselves through uh, a randomized accessory. You don't get to choose this accessory. It could be a mullet. It could be aviators. It could be um, you know a flag, uh, or it could be Devil in Disguise. That's my favorite one, by the way, Devil in Disguise Joey. Um, and so yeah. Uh, that's the game, right? Is um, you try to not overspend, um, and that keeps your joeys alive. Um, and then if you if you don't overspend, then you get a new joey the next week, and that joey will come in 
as a uh, as a little tadpole again. Um, and then day by day, they'll grow up until the point where a week later, they become a full-grown adult. Um, so you can upgrade this little area here. Um, by default, it's going to be a castle. And so um, you can upgrade it to like a TV or a jacuzzi or um, the Joey Wood sign, right? And so uh, the, in order to do that, though, you have to sacrifice Joey's. So that's kind of like the in-game currency is... Um, is you save real life money to collect enough joeys to where you're in a position to be able to say, I don't need all of these joeys. And in fact, I hate Harry Styles joey. And so I need to get, I need to get Harry Styles joey out of my bowl. I don't want to look at him anymore. And so, uh, so then uh, you, you decide that you want to upgrade your structure. You can, um, each one has a different like value in terms of like how many joeys you need to, to sacrifice in order to get it. Um, yeah. It's got home screen widgets, it's got a dark mode. Um, we've got an expenses page, which will explain um, the, uh, like your bills versus your variable expenses. Um, yeah, it's called Save Joey. It, um, so the idea is, you know, you're trying to save your Joey by saving money, right? Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, somebody in the live last week, uh, or the week before, came up with it. So um, yeah, that's the name. So um, most recently, um, what happens when all the water is gone? Okay, yeah, I explained that they die. Uh, thank you for explaining, I'm very interested. Um, so that is one thing on the freeness. So we're planning, so, we're, uh, so we have another app that's already launched, it's called Task Tree. And so um, that one we did with the community, not as much as this, like we did it through comments. Um, this one we're doing it more in um, in like uh, lives only, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, this app, uh, we launched it about a month and a half ago. It's already got like 50,000 users or 44,000 users. I'm, I'm rounding up. But anyways, in that app, we have uh, a pay what you can um, uh, modal. And so what happens is every once in a while, it asks you if you can pay um, and you can choose to pay nothing. Um, and uh, so in Joey, though, like so so Tastry, it's a to do list app um, and um, and it's all like text based. So the, there's really not much costs for us. Um, the main cost is the development cost uh, on upkeeping and, and uh, adding new features for it. However, to connect to your bank account, we're going to get charged per user uh, um, per month. So it is going to be uh, quite a bit more expensive to run this app than um, than the than Tastry is. So we're going to figure it out. Um, I think I th we're going to give it a try on the first month to do pay what you can, even if it's zero. Um, and we'll see if it works. Uh, we might have to, we might have to make it where if you, you can use the app without connecting your bank account. Um, but in order to connect a bank account, you have to pay a dollar or something like that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we, we're still figuring that out. We like, we're waiting on finalized pricing from the API that we're using on there. So, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's the pricing structure on it. But anyways, lately we have been working on the animations for our Joey because, you know, like I, I think the the whole point of this game is that it's it is a game, right? Like you care about this Joey enough to not uh, overspend or go to Target and and uh, you know buy buy something stupid, right? And so so like uh, in order to do that, we need to like give Joey life, you know. And so your Joeys will be able to as they go, they'll be able to just like. Um, you know, be floating around um, throughout the day. You'll be able to watch them and sit there and they'll randomly move around the bowl and stuff. And so, yeah, it's gonna be really fun uh, to watch to watch the Joeys uh, kind of like just interact with each other and everything. And so, so yeah, that's the plan um, that we're doing right now is basically just, we're putting in all the work right now to where, um, to where the, the these Joeys can all like interact with each other and, and feel feel good you know um so yeah um so right now i'm working on the accessories because the uh yeah we need to we need to basically i don't know why this freaking thing keeps keeps bumping up like that oh, it's gonna suck yeah okay Woo Beta's mid July. Eowyn, you're crushing it. Thanks so much. Yes, we are looking at mid July. We're already heavy in beta or heavy in development on this. Um, yeah. Can you so if you want to pay for someone else's app? Um, 
point of paper someone else act. that's a cool idea like a pass it on feature um that's a cool idea a fez hat we haven't had that suggested but i love it we need to go out of fez hat <laughs> yeah let's go out of fez hat Somebody asked for a scuba diving joey, and I tried it. I just couldn't get it to work very well, so uh, I might go try to tackle that again. But let's do Fez Joey, because um, I love it. It's only available uh, to accounts linked on credit cards. Um, no, yeah, so it's actually going to be really focused on checking accounts kind of thing, um, where, uh, yeah, basically, like, we'll keep, an eye, we'll keep an eye on your checking accounts to make sure, like, there's no cash flow and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, Joey with a vapor trail. So I like that idea. The only thing is, like, that's going to be a super, like, hard to animate in, in line with the movements because the vapor trail should really be in line with the animations. So that means that uh, that accessory would need to be animated for every animation that we make, which is going to be hundreds of animations. So that's my only concern. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, I I love that idea. So uh, we'll, we'll probably try it. Let's. Uh, <laughs> I think I think we're gonna try it. So um, this is a really good hat right here. Um, Cowboy Joey, I like that idea. We don't really have a cowboy hat, Joey. All right, all right. Sorry. This Fez hat is giving me fits. Am I right? Cool. There's our Joey. There's our Joey with a Fez hat. Oh, this is gonna look so good. It's like way too big, right? Kind of looks like a like a sous chef, you know? So let's move it tighter. It's gotta be like sitting like on this side of the head too, right? Thoughts? Do we like Fe do we like the Fez hat? I need to vote on the Fez hat before I move on. Can you do weekly on Thursdays for that? Um, yo, Izzy Gordon, you're in the house. What's up, Izzy Gordon? By the way, everybody, Izzy Gordon was the one who suggested that um, that the. Um, that the goldfish be named Joey, which led me down the path of Joey the Dolphiru. So really, uh, Izzy Gordon, get, take a bow, you know, take a bow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Choo choo. Well, Muhammad's in the house too. All right, all right. Okay, so. What are we doing next? Um, Bows, <laughs> love it. Yeah, but for real, uh, you know, I think like that 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 live. It was so it was like a chill live. There wasn't too many people on there, but we just kept like running with it, and yeah, like we it, it's awesome. So Angel Joey is is not a thing that we can do really because there already is an Angel Joey there, uh, or it's called Holy Joey. So holy joeys is when you sacrifice a joey. Um, you, you remember you sacrifice a joey to upgrade this structure to different things. Um, so and holy joeys will every once in a while fly across the, the fishbowl for no reason at all uh, kind of thing. So um, yeah, it was 15 people and it was very chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be on Android and iOS. So we build all our apps in Flutter. And so, um, so yeah, so basically that, that allows us to export it out to both ends so um 
Yes. Okay, so I need to do, I need to like see well, how to do these accessories in a really easy to manage way because, um, cause gosh, like, you know, yeah, like we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to animate each one. Yeah, so I don't know why the bow's off like this, you know? Which task are you doing working like that? Oh no, okay. I'll look into that. Kangaroo's gonna be a part of this, I can't tell. Well, uh, this is a Dolphiru, so there are no kangaroos. Uh, slowly, uh, Joe, Joey started as a kangaroo that was just underwater for no reason. Um, but then we slowly evolved Joey into uh, what you see here. Um, so Joey no longer has an arm. They have a, um, a what was it? Somebody named it, or somebody Googled it. It was like a, just a fin, right? Um, and then Joey also has a, uh, um, a fish tail. Oh, and a dorsal fin. I kind of wanted to give uh, Joey like uh, a blowhole, but, um, you know, because, yeah, actually, we, we should really add a, a freaking blowhole because cause dolphins have blowholes, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's too late to talk about that. It's too it's too late to talk about that. <laughs> Maybe in another live we'll we'll map that out. But um, yes, it will be available in late or mid to late July is the plan. I, I think that there's a good chance that we do it uh, early. Pelvic fin, Aon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, are you able to set an anchor point on new files match point? So it's pushed by a spatial border. That's what I thought, right? Like, um, but it doesn't seem like that's working. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think it's just because, like, some of it... Like, basically, there's a designer, and then there's an animator. And for some reason, the animator lives separately, even though there's not even a key uh, a keyframe for it, which is super confusing. But monthly, for free, uh, monthly frequency for Tashi. Oh, no. Um, go to... Uh, go to our Discord uh, to open a, a support ticket. That'd be dope. Or you can go to bit.ly slash tt dash bugs. Um, there's, uh, yeah, I think I think we might have even put that in the bio link, but I can't remember. So, okay. So, yeah, we're good on the accessories, I think. I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and export all of these out and drop them into the file to see... Um, to see just how much damage there's gonna be. <laughs> I think it's gonna be uh, bad. <laughs> I think it's, it's gonna be a lot of work to do to rig these all up. But uh, you know what? We need to give, we need to add even more accessories, honestly. So, um, yeah. Actually, you know what? We can leave that in there. Yeah, 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 okay. Choo, 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 choo. Accessories. Um, Yes. Current name. Oh no, I gotta rename each of these. Ugh. Top that. He get. Guide. Bandana. Bowler. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck this, dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. I'm just going to number them. <laughs> Sorry. I got, like, so frustrated sitting in my bed. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, let's do it. Alright. Let's check the damage. It's probably going to take, like, 20 minutes to import all these. Whoa! Paper crane and a cake. Designer Tom, appreciate you. I didn't even see you in here. Welcome. Um, and uh, Al Albarit, Albury TV. Thanks so much for the cake too. That's awesome. Oh, look at that, they're all loading in. They're all loading in, yeah. <laughs> 
Lurking and working. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm kind of working, but am I? Am I really working right now? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Oh, jeez, this is going to take forever. Okay, you know what would be really nice is if I can export them at perfect size. So at least there's that. Yeah, I'm going to undo all of that that I just did. My team found my TikTok today. <laughs> That's funny. Do you uh do you have a job, Tom? You how do you have a job with how much content you're cranking out, man? That's impressive. By the way, everybody, designer Tom, if you're into design, go follow him because he's he's super dope. And yeah, like for real, like <laughs> you make a lot of content. It's all really good. And yeah, I, yeah. 131.74. Process, yeah. You know, it's funny. I tried to come up with a process the other day and I was like, my goal was that I was gonna try to get like two days out on all of my posting. Um, but then, you know, but then like, literally I mapped out like a whole month of content. I was like, hell yeah. And then by two days later, we, we were working on Joey um, and like, yeah, like so much, so much stuff changes so quickly for us that it's like, I have such a tough time <laughs> mapping out any kind of process other than this is what I worked on yesterday <laughs> kind of stuff. But you know, one day, one day. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right, so sorry. I know this is like confusing on what's happening, everybody, but basically, uh, here we go. Okay. Is it that small? Yeah, I guess it's that small, okay. 110. Gotta make all of these 110. So this should be a little easier to to do to deal with. Is this your job? It's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, what? Like yeah. <laughs> so basically, we came to TikTok uh, because I had uh, like um, so we have a design agency. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of that design agency. It's called Rad Collab, um, and that's everything that's happening here. And so. Um, we came, we came to TikTok to try to get new clients um, to like, and and so in in trying to show our expertise, we uh, we like we went in and um, and uh, started talking about like this this like just different design concepts, and one of them blew up, and that turned into Task Tree, uh, which is um, which is our first app. It's a to do list app for people with ADHD. Um, but also just like in general, um, it's a really good to-do list app. Uh, and yeah, and so um, like the we had a lot of energy around it. It was super cool. And um, we, we've been getting a lot of clients out of it. And uh, yeah, I mean, just honestly, everything's just like working out really well right now. Um, and, you know, it's so cool because like uh, we had no plans to do any of this. Like literally two weeks ago, I didn't even know, I didn't even have this idea for, for Save Joey, like, cause yeah, like it, it, anyways. Um, so, th so that's, that's how uh, we ended up here in, um, but now, so it's kind of cool. Like with Tastry, it was all through comments where we were like listening to feedback. Um, we would make a new design and then uh, we would, we would see what people liked about it. Right. Um, and, uh, but then somewhere, um, 
And, and yeah, like, so we launched that task tree, just hit the two month mark and we're over 43,000 users. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's like, what? And so anyways, uh, uh, with this, with, like, but then we were about to start working on digital closet in a big way, which is our next app or what's going to be our next app. And then, um, all of a sudden, uh, this, all this Joey stuff happened. And so now I'm like re rethinking my, my entire process, uh, for, for how we do all of these apps where, you know, um, before it was two comments. Now it's like every app, every new app is going to do this process, uh, that we're doing on Joey because like, look at this, like, like what the hell are we thinking <laughs> doing? doing a, a game, but it's a budgeting app. You know what I mean? Like, like what? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but it does. It makes a lot of sense actually. So, um, so, uh, that, yeah, I'm, I'm, kind, I'm really excited about it, about like finding this, like, you know, we're, we're reworking our process every day, you know, and, um, but I really, I thought that we had already innovated enough on task tree on how we do, how we go about all this stuff. But then now, yeah, like um, I can't, I couldn't see us doing this any other way now. Uh, that, that like with what we're doing on Joey. So, um, yeah. Tastry is the best app you you ever used. Wow, that's super cool to hear. <laughs> see, like look at that. Yeah, you know, and and I think that it's because the the community was so involved on it. You know, um, we like we like literally designed it, um, most of it in about, in about a, um, a week's time. We got a beta up uh, in about a month from the first like video blowing up on TikTok. Um, yeah, and it was just like crazy. It just kept going from there. So, um, and then here we are doing something completely different. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just shows, you know, like the, like a startup, is only only matters because uh, because it finds a new process. You know what I mean? Like um, it's not because we have the best technology or you know or the app is the best app ever. You know, like who's to say that this app, this budgeting app, is better than other budgeting apps? I like I think it will be, but you know, like uh, I can't say that. For, like you can't really like argue that for certain. You know, um, and so. Uh, Oh, I see what's happening. Uh, this is why it's bumping. Cool. Okay. Thank God I figured it out. I was gonna, was gonna be freaking out all day. There you go. Nice, nice. Um. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. So like I, I think that we lucked out finding this process, and uh, I'm I'm just super 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 excited uh, for the future in the next few months. Basically, our plan is. And the um, uh, say hi so I know you are real. Okay, PK. Hi. Hello. <laughs> That's funny. That was the first time I've ever heard that one. Congrats. <laughs> um, cool. So we got bow tie and executioner. Jesus, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take forever. Okay. So we got we got body accessories. Oh shoot. And then we've got head accessories going inside of that. Whoop. Executioner Joey goes inside of head. Where's head? There's head. Inside of head we go. Executioner Joey. Okay. Head accessories. Boom. Oh, I just realized that Executioner Joey is going to be a mess. Um, gamification, the thing doesn't have to be painful. Best app is in the eye of the beholder. Yep, so true, so true. And you know, like, uh, I, it's funny, you know, I, I, I read a bunch of books uh, on business and marketing and branding over the years, you know, and like, never been a part of a brand um like that's like this scrappy you know like like uh i've been a part of like some startups that was what i did before all of this was i uh i was like a uh d designer for like a freelancer for a few startups kind of thing um and yeah the uh 
like um the like I never saw a brand like grow like uh, like this. You know what I mean? I've never been a part of that. And um, but I did always believe. You know, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Simon Sinek, but um, it, uh, I uh, I used to think that Start with Why is like the best book ever um, for business um, and and everything. Like I I thought you know like just it's a genius book that is um, that yeah like that really sums up how to do business well. Basically, the idea is like uh, his argument is that you um, uh, like that companies like Apple, they they don't sell uh, their uh, their features because at that point you're just a commodity. They sell the vision and the brand like a vision of a better world kind of thing. Right. And that's like that's the mission that they have is like that's that's what we stand for. This is what matters. And this is why you should do business with us kind of thing. Right. Um, But, you know, it's uh, like in in doing all of this. I realize that um, that you know the the vision is cool, but like, but h- how could we have ever said that this was our vision from the set out? Like, right? Like, you know, here I am. I'm designing this Dolpharu on TikTok. Like, none of those things I had planned to do, uh, you know, just a few months ago, right? You know, like, and if and if I had, it probably would have wouldn't have come out right because I was trying to put my vision in your head and like, you know, market that. Right. But like slowly our, um, like my, my vision for this company, uh, that, that we like my, my, my agency here, um, slowly is, is, you know, we still do stuff for, for, um, clients. And in fact, it's like the only way that all of this is working is that we're, um, we're, uh, we make money from clients. And so it goes into development costs. Right. Uh, but you know, um, oh my God, look at that! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, like my like my vision and my mission for Rad Collab, the company, has changed so much because because I've allowed the the users and the and the the people that interact with our brand to to guide our mission. Hi, Hi Sylvia, how are you? Okay, bye. No worries. Sorry, my daughter just tried to make a break into my office. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, so like, uh, like the, that that vision and that mission, like I think is like the just like the first few steps, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like you, you like now. I think my mission for for this company, um, Rad Collab, is uh, is that we can like we can do things differently because we get. Um, we get support and and feedback from the community at such an early stage that we're able to like really bring um, like connect with with people before we even do it and then make an app with them and like so like that's kind of the vision right now and the mission but you know like yeah I don't know like I I think that that Simon Sinek is um, is uh, is incorrect it's like it's I guess it's incomplete you know um, uh, the Simon Sinek start with why vision i think because um because yeah nobody can say that uh what their vision or what their uh, mission is until they find uh users and also a team to be to to be ambassadors of that vision right like uh one of my favorite business books it's called uh good to great um it's like kind of a classic uh, business book but uh the um uh where, where was i going with this um oh so the, the the big argument in that book is is that you need to find the right people and get them on the bus get the wrong people off the bus and then let them drive where the company's going and you know uh literally uh in in like two months ago we uh we were we had two developers or we still have two developers um, but anyways, we, we, uh, we had two developers and we were like, they were, they're only going to do, um, the apps for, for our, uh, for our TikTok, and that's it. But then, um, but you know, like the, the basically they, they want to do client work with us now. Uh, and, and so like, so like that's, the, there you go. It's the vision, um, that the team is setting and they, they're, 
the, uh, they're kind of like ambassadors of that vision. And and so, yeah, it's like all that mission and start with why stuff, like, it's just, it's just not possible. Uh, uh, it, like, it doesn't, it's not, it's not feasible in the real world, I think. So, yeah, I know that matters to all of you a lot, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of got on a tangent while I was just working, letting myself zone out a little bit. Um, uh, when is this coming out? We are, um, we're fully in development on this. Uh, we're hoping that it's going to be coming out in uh, probably uh, late, or sorry, mid-July is the plan right now. So um, stay tuned on that. But I, I think it might even be earlier than that. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm sure that, I'm sure that the, the dev team will love me saying that. <laughs> if any of them are on here. <laughs> How's it yesterday? Glad to see you working on Joey again. Yeah. You know, honestly, I've only been working on Joey lately. Uh, just because, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really fun, A. And B, um, there's a lot to do to get it ready for everybody. So, um, is it fun to make this or not? You know what? Um, so, uh, so I, I have for, uh, I've been in this industry for about 10 years. Um, I've been, uh, I've been, like, I started at, like, a startup like I made my uh, startup uh, with um, my brother and a friend of mine. Um, the uh, yeah, and like and then I got into like I went and did an agent. I worked at an agency. I did freelance. Um, you know, like and, and at all times I was like specialized in one thing, um, like doing one thing every day. And and you know it was it was something a little bit different every day. But it like you know at the end of the day it was it was still. Um, do, like doing, you know, development one day, then the next day would be design one day, you know, or the next day. And so, um, you know, n like never in my life have I been able to do all of the things that I like to do and that I'm good at all at once, you know, like um, I've just never, uh, like, you know, like the work, work like that is really tough to find, you know, um, but literally every single day I get to, to do all of the skills that I've like uh, worked to cultivate over my career, you know, and like, and then I also get to do it like on a live stage while talking to people, you know, and um, so I'm having so much fun. Is <laughs> long story short, I'm having so much fun. Like, yeah, like, he, like on the weekends, I'm like, man, I'm like Monday, I'm gonna kill it on Monday. <laughs> you know, it's funny, um, but yeah. So re real talk. That's. Uh, that's how I feel, and so yes, I I am having, I'm having the time of my life actually. So uh, yeah. Neck bandana should be targeted to t college students. Yeah, you know, um, uh, I I think like naturally TikTok has like a young audience, right? Um, so and I think that like the ones the one the the ones who Joey has connected with, like the people who have connected with Joey and like, oh, that app is going to help me are probably primarily college students because like, you know, you're, you're it's like early, like one, some of the first times that you've had to budget, you know, uh, is when you're a college student, um, you know, like when you're still with your family, um, even if you like have your own job and everything, like you're, you're still like the bills and all that are a little bit, you know, it's just different, right? Um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I do think that this is really going to be, uh, primarily college students, at least for the, for the beginning parts of this app. Um, and then slowly it'll, uh, it'll just go out to the world, you know, but, um, that's the dream anyway. So let's see if we can make that happen. Um, yeah, so far, uh, Tastry is, uh, does, well, like, you know, it's funny, like they always talk about how TikTok is like, uh, like Gen Z young young only. But I think like us millennials, I'm I'm a, I'm a millennial, uh, and uh, I, I think us millennials have are, are understanding how awesome TikTok is, and more and more are coming. So, um, yeah. So so I think too like like saving and stuff is is cool. Um, need this budget app in your life? All right. Well, welcome to the party. I'm glad you made it, and uh, um, yeah, the uh, this this app is planning to get uh, launched or uh, beta around mid July is the plan. So, um, so yeah, so if you haven't already, make sure you go to savejoey.com 
to get on that wait list. All right. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a big one. Um, I'm so excited about this app. Look at this. I just want to show you how cool this animation is going to be. Look at that. Devil in disguise, Joey. Look at that. Hello. How are you today? I am a devil in disguise. Hello. <laughs> Will Android users be able to use the app, and will it work for 14-year-olds? Um, yeah, so I mean, uh, like, okay, so we are going to allow for uh, manual input. Uh, like, I don't think that you can have a bank account at 14 years old. I could be wrong. Um, so, so you wouldn't be able to connect a bank account, obviously, but uh, if that is the case. Um, but if you uh, – but, yeah, we'll, we will be having um, – uh, we uh, we will be al allowing for for that young. I I think um, you know honestly like we're um, our privacy policy is like I I mean I think we do an okay job but not a great job at like addressing stuff like that. Um, I think uh, like we're we're currently planning to meet with a lawyer pretty soon um, to go over stuff like that. So uh, but yes, it will be on Android. Um, we have. Uh, we work in, um, it's called Flutter, and so it basically spits out to both iOS and Android. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the, uh, um, dang, man, this isn't, like, working really perfect. There you go. I love the job, Joey. I think it looks really good, you know? Um, yes. Hey, Owen, thanks so much for, for hitting all the questions. It's hard to, like, be working while, uh, while reading and answering I appreciate you helping me out. Thank you so much. Um, okay, we gotta call this a job, Joey. Good job, Joey. Um, sh l listen, should the bow tie be covered? What is this thing? Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this later. So, uh, should the bow tie be covered, be connected to the head? Like, when the head moves, should the bow tie move? What do you think? Or should the bow tie be on, like, the body area, you know? I think it should be on the head. Thoughts? Okay, yes. We got a yes. Thank you. <laughs> Joey does need a tattoo. My thing with the tattoos is like, actually, you know what would be hilarious is like an anchor. You know what I mean? Just like a little anchor on the fin, you know? Should we go put an anchor on the fin? Or on the leg? It would be really cool to do like a sleeve on the leg, you know? <laughs> I gotta think on that one a little bit. Wizard hat, Joey. Yes, I like wizard hat, Joey. Wizard, you're a wizard, Harry. What's up, Henjam? How's it going? Or avocado on Discord. I love your idea of the um, of the making like an explicit version of Joey. I think that's a really cool idea. Like basically, like by default, Joey won't be super intense, uh, but or like will be intense, but will be um, uh, the like sorry, the Joey Joey will be intense like or passive aggressive. But then also, Joey can be like outright like rude uh, in a setting or something like that. But I don't know, like that sort of stuff is like really cool, but uh, it's kind of like, uh, we don't have time just yet to talk about or map sort of that sort of um, cool stuff out. Make sure you have to feed him. So uh, we do have a feeding mechanism mapped out. Um, where is it? I, like I played with it a little bit. We still need to dial it in, but it is such a cool um, concept. So. The idea is that let's say that you have um, you have uh, like a thousand dollars or so. Okay, let's see. 
So you make $2,000 in income and then you have $1,000 in, um, in bills, right? Like rent and car payments and stuff like that. Um, uh, so then you, that means that you have $1,000 in monthly budget. So that gives you 1,000 fish to feed Joey over the course of a month. Um, now it's not gonna actually like affect Joey's health because at the end of the day, the health, um, the health of Joey is, is completely tied to your spending habits on like how well you're, you're connecting to the budget. Um, but you, you'll be able to press this button and like hold it. And then the Joey, like Joey, like little fish will drop in and the Joey's will all collect at the top to like start eating from the fish. Um, now the thing is though, is it's like, it's an actual representation of your real life money that you have for that month. So you can have like five minutes of like pure joy where you just like feed Joey like a thousand fish at once. Um, but, uh, but, or you could budget it out a little bit further and like, you know, basically budget your expenses the same way, you know? So, uh, yeah, like I, I think it's a really funny concept, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's again, one of those things that it's just, it's just funny enough to work. So, um, yeah. Toucan Joey. You know, like I'm accidentally putting two together at every once in a while and they look really freaking good. <laughs> like maybe we should make multi maybe we should make Joey's where they randomly come in um, with multiple accessories. We can actually do that with the system that I have in mind. Um, yeah, cause like just Toucan Joey's cool, but but Toucan Wizard Joey, <laughs> like what the fuck, that's so dope. <laughs> Oh gosh, there's there's so many like options to go with this app. It's like, it's just insane. So, um, which shows just how good this app is gonna be. You know what I mean? <sighs> so for everybody who doesn't know, we are making it. Let's just show. Let's just show uh, Hijab Joey doing a flip. I'm gonna show Hijab Joey doing Joey doing a flip. Here we go. Flip animation. Are you ready? Are you ready to watch Joey do a flip? Here we go. Ho! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. It's so nice. What games do you like more? Clicker games or shorter uh, tycoon or others? Honestly, I kind of like both. Um, well, so I, 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 like, sorry, not. I don't really like clicker games much. I I do like um, passive games um, that uh, that are like uh, where where like over time you collect um, like items or you know like basically like get like game dev tycoon if it was you know time based that would be super cool you know um, so uh, yeah I think like I think. Uh, that's probably it. But you know, here we are, we're making like a Tamagoshi style thing, you know? Um, so like, uh, I would say that this isn't a tycoon game, but you know, like it's, you kind of like build it up over time, right? So, um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, one of our new clients uh, plays uh, League of Legends and so uh, as a team. So um, I couldn't make it, but one of our designers, Scott, um, oh, he's actually in the live. Look at that. Uh, Scott was able to play with uh, with them. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to play with them next week. Uh, we should do like a game game night, community game night or something, right? Top hat is done. Top hat looks so good. Okay. We got a top hat. Get the aviators going. Woo. Do I know uh, Candace? No, I don't. I can't. So my, I do have a cousin named Candace. So if that's the cousin, if that's the Candace you're talking about, <laughs> probably not though. <laughs> Why name him Joey? So, yeah. Let, uh, so basically, what happened was we we did a live and we um, we were riffing on ideas around a budgeting app, and then um, and then the idea was that you get a weekly budget 
and then as you spend your money, you uh, the uh, you you have like a, a fishbowl, and the water goes away in that fishbowl. That that was kind of like the idea, like kind of kind of early on. And then somebody said that they wanted to name the the their uh, fish Joey. Um, and so then I was like, okay, like uh, let me just let me just see like if there's an icon for Joey. And that was when we we got uh, we got really off the rails in an awesome way, where basically yeah Joey um, uh, like so jo- Joey is named Joey because uh, when I searched for the name for the icon Joey there was only kangaroos, um, and then we were like okay well yeah this this is a kangaroo then um, now and then we we're like well actually this kangaroo needs to be like you know um, like. Uh, Oh, okay. I was like, what is happening? No, uh, well, actually, this kangaroo needs to be, um, you know, like, have, like, fins and stuff to be able to, like, actually live underwater, you know? Um, and then that was, that was when we kind of ended up doing, um, doing Joey the Dolphin. That's how we landed on that, so, yeah. Flutter question. Can you use the same file and assign multiple pin positions? So, you know what's actually, uh, um, like, so, okay. So this is actually not Flutter. Um, this is Rive, and so um, so yes, I could do that. We could we could put like basically all of this is going to be done in animations, and then Flutter is going to send. Okay, we're animating this one Joey, um, and they're going to do this right. Um, and so uh, and so th- the one Joey, that's what I'm doing right now, is basically uh, shit. Um, what's happening? So the so that one Joey is gonna um, is gonna be dependent on the Joey that I'm showing here. Damn, what is? Sorry, I'm like really thrown off from like why this isn't connecting right. Um. Manual option link to being such okay yeah yeah rive so that's this that's what this editor is called like the animator and so let me explain really quick like how the animations go um, so on on this state machine so I've set up right where like so this is the animation grid so so Joey's at the center point they could at any point go to any point on the on this map so they could go down here or they could go here or up there right and so the way that it works is it's based on a grid. So, so this is zero, and this is minus two, this is plus two, min, uh, uh, minus two, plus two. And so, so it kind of goes down, right? Um, and so, uh, so, that, so that's how the, the, the um, uh, yes, so basically on, in Flutter, we can send which coordinate we're going to send Joey to. Um, so, so let's send Joey to, to this point, right? So that, so that is x plus two. Um, y minus two. All right. So I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press this play button, and because of that, it's gonna send to right here plus two minus two. So that animation gets rigged up, and here we go. Oh shoot, I did minus two. <laughs> here we go. Whew. Look at that. There's VMA Brittany Joey. <laughs> this is so cool, <laughs> man. With the accessories, it really comes to life. Um, but yeah, and so so that's what the coolest thing is, is all of this is handled, like the animations and the accessories are handled from the animation side. Um, and then um, and then all that we need to do is on Rive's end, um, or sorry, on Flutter's end, we just say, hey, show me VMA Bitney Joey moving to the top right corner. Um, and then, and then so, so that's what is such a big deal about this. And, and honestly, why we're gonna be able to make this app so quickly is, a lot of it is on me to animate, um, and then um, in in Rive, and so yeah, you know it's funny also is like I uh, I didn't know how to do how to use Rive uh, like two days ago, <laughs> uh, and I actually like the other day I had to watch a uh, a tutorial video while on a live because I didn't know how to do most of the features. <laughs> I like you know I will say I did watch one tutorial video before jumping on it, um, but you know I I done a bunch of After Effects animations. Um, and so like as far as key framing and all that goes like uh, it was I felt pretty at home um, but yeah like the 
the rigging up the animations was a little bit confusing for me. So, um, what was the uh, um, what was the first game or app I worked on? So actually, this is my first game that I've worked on, um, and it's kind of not really a game. Is it a game? I'd I'd say it is a game. Um, but anyways, uh, the the um, the first app that I worked on was called uh, Fitter, and so um, it was a it was a startup that basically used machine learning to um, to figure out your workout, like what workouts work best for you, and so. Um, it was cool. We got we got a lot of users, um, uh, and around like uh, we we got on Yahoo and so the front page of Yahoo one day, and so that brought in about um, uh, brought in like twenty thousand users for us, and and yeah, you know we weren't we were pretty young and uh, inexperienced in this whole game of of uh, you know startup game, and so we we kind of like ran all over the place chasing our tails of like you know oh this is a really cool feature we need to do this now you know and um but you know in that too i was able to get so much like real good experience uh around around design because you know every day this the designs that i was doing i was like doing it for business goal and i was like i like i you know like this could really change everything you know like that that was kind of the the, the idea there and so um, yeah uh, you know like o over time we, we ran out of money eventually um, and then um, and then yeah and then I moved on to to uh, to an agency uh, and yeah that that's rest is history kind of thing so um, dragon head actually let's just call this dragon now jogging head dragon head dragon head. cool we have our first body accessory But yeah, you know what's funny? I, I actually, when I was in high school, I was uh, I was seriously considering going into game development and trying to learn um, game development. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, I, I thought I ended up going against it because I, I just felt like uh, it was going to be really grindy. And um, yeah, and so that's where we ended up at. Um, but you know, honestly, I've always wanted to work on a game, like you know, and... Uh, it's so cool that this like that this is the first game that I that I work on, you know. Um, it's really different, you know. Um, and uh, I, I think it's I think it's gonna I think it's gonna really help people. Hopefully, you know, it's the goal, anyways. So, yeah. I'm guessing it will only work on U.S. banks. Actually, actually, it will work in seven countries' banks. So it'll work in U.S. Uh, U.S. banks, Canada, um, Ireland. Um, Spain, uh, UK, and what else? Uh, Netherlands was another one as well. So, yeah. Thoughts? And it will be on iOS and Android. Uh, no, I don't think it has Isra Israeli banks. Sorry. Sorry. Do you reach out for social impact grants or innovation? Is that a thing? Yo, is that a thing for real? <laughs> so I like, you know, I think I was saying it earlier, like we are like literally just day by day figuring this whole thing out. <laughs> so uh, I didn't realize there was grants like that. Um, you know, but it actually makes sense because like uh, there is a lot of, startup grants right so um shit sir it's a thing <laughs> okay well i'm gonna go look that up a little bit <laughs> because <laughs> yeah thank you for that uh defo needs to add switzerland to that list um country banks is a must yeah um so we are using this app or this api called plaid that's uh um it basically it handles all of the um, all of the difficulty around um, security and uh, and also the connections to the individual banks. And so we we were talking to um, 
to the their salespeople today about um, about like the when other banks are going to get uh, approved and stuff like that. So I guess their policy at Plaid is that they only um, that they only will uh, will start working or they will only launch a. Uh, here we go. I'm going to say this now. Can I say it now? Let's see if I can figure this out. Sorry. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, cool. There it is. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, they, they only launch a new country once they have connected every single bank in the country. Um, so, uh, so it's kind of interesting um, that, that that's their, like, policy. Uh, and it makes sense, right? Like, you can't really move into a new country unless you're, like, going to dominate that industry, I guess. That's kind of the idea. And so, um, anyways, uh, the, the unfortunate thing is uh, that... Right now, they do not have all countries uh, or all banks in Switzerland. Um, I do know that they have, um, that they, they said that they have, um, what, what was it? Uh, um, they said that Q3, they're gonna have, they're gonna be launching Germany. Um, and by Q4, they'll be launching uh, Sweden. So, uh, or Sweden or Switzerland, shit. One of them, <laughs> I can't remember what they said, but that, so that, that, there you go. That's, that's, um, it will be coming. Hang in there. Is the code really uh, for the game or work in progress? Uh, no, it's definitely work in progress. We're, we're about uh, only like a week into development. Um, and that development so far has been spent on setting up the database. The database is set up now. Um, and we've got, uh, um, yeah, we're, we're on the way. Um, we've got the API connection already to, to Plaid. So we're moving forward on that. Um, yeah, honestly, we're, we're really flying pretty quickly. Uh, the plan right now is um, uh, mid-July mid is the is the launch date. So, they, yes, Plaid is in Canada. So um, Canada will be supported out of the gate. So, woo, Canada. Um, they said that their focus right now is, is e, uh, EU. So, like, I think a lot of the European countries will be getting covered soon. So, um, it uh, yeah, uh, Scotland's in the UK, right? Um, so yes, uh, UK is covered. Uh, so um, as long I, I haven't checked if like if they've broken out Scotland inside of that though. So um, yeah, astronaut. Hello. I just, I just want to see it on the App Store. Yeah. So we actually do have another app on the App Store. Uh, it is called um, what is it called? Uh, Tastry. <laughs> Sorry, I was like really in the zone. Yeah, uh, it's it's called Tastry. So um, it kind of, it didn't happen in live like this, but uh, it's basically an ADHD uh, to do list app, and um, it's awesome. It's uh, I think I think it's the best to do list app on the app stores. Um, so not biased or anything. So um, you know you can take my word at it. <laughs> yeah. Hello, person with mask with a mask. Eighty seven. Person with a mask, 87. Whoo, bowler. Bowler hat. Where's the Fez hat? I didn't see the Fez hat in here. Well, we got them all rigged up. So, yes. And accessories are here. I really want to see what the dragon looks like. Let's see where the dragon. Sorry about my dog barking a lot there. Let's see what the drag. I want to see what the dragon looks like flipping. All right, let's watch it, everybody. Here we go. Oh, the dragon's flipping. <laughs> Look at this. This is so dope. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Make a parry the platypus character. Yeah, I can do that. Well, actually, we did try to make uh, make a, a Joey the platypus version, and it just didn't really work very well. Um, so I don't know. Like, I tried to make. Let me see if we can try it again. Platypus, piss, platypus, puss. I don't know how to spell platypus. 
Yes, I spelled platypus. Woo! Yeah, you see, like, there's. it's really hard to, like, turn Joey to make it look like a platypus, you know? Maybe this. All right, everybody. So I am uh, done for the day. Um, my brain is tired. But uh, go, go join the wait list at savejoey.com. We've got this app coming mid-July. So, um, yeah, thanks for hanging with me. And, uh, yeah, have a good weekend. If you're a father, happy Father's Day. All right. Bye, Ewen. Okay, YouTube.